Welcome back to another episode of Bite Size Audio. Yes, we're back with IM news, headphone news, and all the other stuff that goes around in the audio world. Man, feels like we haven't done this episode in a long time. Hey friends, Tim here. Welcome back to another video on Giz Audio. Today we have Bite Size Audio news. We're gonna talk about some new upcoming IM releases, some new headphone releases, and also some very near future audio events that you might want to attend. First, let's start with the brand Moondrop. They just announced their new budget-oriented killer IEM, the Moondrop Jew. Yes, quite a strange name and in English it sounds kind of odd. But sure, as you can see, it has the same construction as the Moondrop shoe. Also, the non-detachable cable is still there. They say it's gonna be budget, so I'm guessing it's gonna stay around a $20 mark. Maybe it is an upgraded Moondrop shoe, since Moondrop shoe has kind of fallen off the hype train or the value train. Since you know the Zero has been released, the One Air has been released, the $20 bracket has become so competitive, and the Moondrop shoe, although still a very good IM, just doesn't compete anymore surprisingly and sadly to the newer releases. So maybe the Moondrop Jew is to address that problem. Next on the Moondrop roster is the Moondrop Quirks DSP. $15 IM and arguably the more exciting and interesting release from Moondrop as of late. It has DSP, which is digital sound or digital signal processing. Basically what that means is that this thing has been pre-EQ'd. And here is the graph from the results of that EQing. And the graph looks fantastic. It looks initially just like the variations type of graph, maybe the Truth Ear Zero graph. It has that bass tug. It's gonna be very clean. Female vocals are gonna be very forward. It's gonna have quite a bit of a spacious feeling sound in general with good amount of bass as well. If you love the variations type of tuning, if you love Truth Ear Zero's type of tuning, this thing should fall right in line to what you'd like. And it's $15, so it's super cheap. It's a great addition to have even if you already own the Truth Ear Zero even if you already own the variations to grab something at $15 that you can just throw in your bag you can lose you can beat up it can break and you don't care about it with this kind of tuning nice and I myself have already ordered one of course and once it arrives I'll be doing a review for you guys next brand we have Le Shores and they have two new announcement potentially or maybe just one depending on how you look at it the first one being the one dynamic driver 11 BA that was kind of secretly announced at can jam socal a few people who went to can jam actually got to demo this unit and precog vision actually wrote a little statement for it feel free to pause to read I'll also be leaving a link to the entire article in the description below. So as you have read, it was the prototype unit that was being tested at CanJam SoCal. The real unit or when that might be released is still unknown. The price is still unknown, but judging by the driver setup, 1DD, 11BA, it's not gonna be cheap, potentially even a flagship level IM, which brings me to the potential second release, or maybe it's the same release as the first one, the Layshore's Cadenza, yes. This one was just announced on Layshore's own page and also on Hi-Fi Go. No information on this one just yet, except for the little statement at the bottom of the image. It reads, Layshore's 2022 flagship hybrid driver IEM. Hybrid driver, 1DD, 11BA. Can it be the same thing? Potentially. Can it also be two completely different things? possibly. Leave your guess down below if it's the same thing or not. Next brand, we have the Tang Su brand. Yes, the maker of Seishin Wu, the maker of Wan Er. You guys all know them. They've been releasing pretty good stuff lately and they just announced that they're making a new hybrid IAM. Now, this is on their own page. I'll leave a link to that down below. They were answering some Q&As that people were asking. Here are the questions and the answer from Tang Su confirming that a hybrid is on the way and also on the thread itself they posted this image asked me anything and when asked about what I am is in that particular image they said this. Needless to say though, Tang Su has been very busy, but all of their releases so far has been really good. So I'm excited for whatever they have coming up in the future. And next brand on the list, we have Theo with their new TWS, the FW5. Now this one has been on pre-order for quite some time now. I don't think anyone has gotten their hands on an actual unit. It has been announced for quite a while as well, so I am a little bit late, but I still want to talk about it because I think 
it looks super sexy. Probably one of the best looking TWS on the market today. And it looks like it's built similar to the FD5 and FD7. I'm stoked, man. I'm really stoked for this. Sound quality, Video is, you know, hit or miss a lot of the time, so I'm not really gonna expect too much from that. But I hope it sounds good because that's a TWS that I want to use. The FW5, whenever that comes out, hopefully I can get my hands on one. I'll review it for you guys and hopefully it's good. And lastly in IM news, how can we forget the ever lurking project that is Project Red, a critical project. This one is said to be released Next, we have headphone news. Yes, there are two headphones to talk about. First one being the new revised Moondrop Void. Here's the breakdown that was posted by someone on the Moondrop post. Feel free to pause and read all the changes they did to the Moondrop Void. Nothing has changed with the sound, just the construction. If you're looking to buy the Void now, just know that you're getting a better build than the one a lot of people reviewed, including myself. Next headphone is another Moondrop headphone. It is the Moondrop Venus. The price right now is $549 on group buy. If you wanna get it early, you get $50 off. Retail is $599. Now, a few people have reviewed it. I'll leave a link to all the reviews that I can find on the Venus in the description below. But here is the Venus's graph versus the Moondrop Void. Now, as you can see here, they're tuned quite differently. The Void is noticeably more warm, more bassy, maybe a little bit more balanced at the same time. The Venus looks to be a little on the bright side, especially in the extensions. Now, in terms of how the graph looks as a whole, in my personal opinion, I think I prefer the Moondrop Void's graph a little bit more. I prefer a little bit more bass. The Venus looks like it can potentially come across on the thin side and also the treble might be too much. I wish it had a little bit more bass to kind of balance out that treble a bit more. But all in all, I still need to put my ears on it to confirm if the graph is correct. Next up, we have event news. Yes, what's coming up in the audio world? Number one, closing up here is Black Friday sale. If you missed out on 1111, you still want some IEMs at a discount, Black Friday is here and it's here for maybe about a week or so starting uh, right here. I forgot the actual starting date. Next on the event list are three audio shows coming up very, very soon. In December in Tokyo, there's Potafest, which I'll be attending. It's gonna be on December 17th to 18th, if I remember correctly. Meet me there and alongside a lot of other brands and other audiophiles in Japan who are also gonna be there as well. The next event is Can Jam New York coming in in February. February. That one I will not be attending, but I know a lot of big creators are attending Can Jam New York. So if you want to meet them, go over there. But now the Can Jam that I'm actually going to be attending is Can Jam Singapore 2023. Yes, and this is going to be my first ever Can Jam. I am so excited to go. I think it's March 25th to March 26th. Besides the amount of stuff to try at Can Jam Singapore, of course, I'm also excited to meet a lot of the friends that I've made online. I can finally see them in real life at Can Jam Singapore. So you guys know who you are. I'll see you there. And with all of that being said, that wraps up today's news video. I'll leave links to everything that I talk about in the description below. So check down there for anything that you're interested in. And before we go, I'd like to give a special thanks to all my Patreon supporters right here. We have Kai, we have Chadwick, we have Suni Roll, we have Norm, and also Big Boy Mason. Thank you so much for believing in this channel. Thank you for your support. If you guys want to support the channel yourself, Patreon link is down below good perks there. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Bye.